Uh, hi, my name is Mike. I work at the nursery here in the garden barn, and uh, today I'm going to show you a series of videos on how to plant shrubs into the ground. So here I've started um, with this scotch broom. Uh, basically, you start by digging the hole about twice as wide as the pot diameter, and you dig the hole to be the same depth as the pot itself, as the plant, and so you want the, um, the base of it to be flush with the ground. And um, so now that I've done that, I'll show you how to fill in with bumper crop. Usually I take about one big handful and then mix it with another big handful of the existing soil. You want to work it in around in the hole. When you get to a good spot, only a couple inches below the surface is when you spread the fertilizer. Now that you've got um, most of the soil um, into the hole, this is about the right time where you want to spread the fertilizer. Um, with any new plantings, um, you're going to want to use about a cup. Um, what here we have is plant tone. It's an all-purpose organic fertilizer by Espoma. Um, so basically a cup is equal to about a fistful uh, of the fertilizer. So you just take it, spread it around. You want to get it around the entire hole, around the entire base, and then mix it in with the existing soil. And then uh, this can be reapplied um, in the spring after the winter and after the ground is thawed, usually about a cup per uh, foot of branch diameter. So with this one, we just add an extra cup in the springtime and then keep feeding again in the fall. Okay, now that we've um, dug the hole and added the fertilizer and finished uh, applying the soil, um, we can mulch it. So basically, you know, just take a few handfuls, spray it around, use whatever sort of mulch and color scheme that you prefer. There's a lot of different varieties, a lot of colors. Basically, you want to spread it around where um, you dug the hole get a nice solid layer but you don't want to add too much mulch you also don't want to um, have too little it's very important to get a good amount you also don't want to um, pile the mulch too close to the uh, central branches here that can cause the, uh, the whole the whole plant to start rotting out basically from the inside out um, so what I do is sort of like a v-shaped you know, you kind of go up around here and then taper down towards the, um, the plant itself. You know, get a good solid uh, layer around this. That way it will um, stay protected over the winter and the roots will insulate. And... Okay, so now that we've uh, planted the, the shrub and um, spread the mulch and the fertilizer, it is time to add the root growth stimulator it's a product we carry called uh, Rootmaster B1 it's by Master Nursery it is um, it helps especially this time of year to uh, help the, uh, the the roots of the plant settle quicker before the winter starts and it uh, goes into dormancy basically you take a, a teaspoon of this and mix it with a gallon of water you can either use um, one of these watering jugs that has the uh, gallons lined up there or you could use just uh, you know a clean milk container anything like that works works well you want to do this um, religiously once a week um, around the same time of day and uh, that'll help the um, the plant settle before the winter and it helps really any time of year for the success of the plants when you water it in you want um, you don't want to water the whole plant itself you want to make sure the roots get as much of the uh, rooting hormone as possible and so like that let it settle in um, if it's been really dry it's good to water it for uh, you know a good 30 seconds or so depending on the size before you apply the root master and um, now that that's been done you wait a week come back do it again uh, right up until the ground freezes okay this time around I'm going to show you how to plant uh, a shrub that has been wrapped in burlap, the root ball system. Um, so basically with these, it's the same rules uh, applied to any other shrub. You want to dig the hole about twice as wide and uh, the same depth. And um, so with these, you basically just want to peel the burlap. It's all wrapped around the trunk. 
and it's usually tied with twine. So it's a good idea to cut off the twine around the base of the trunk before you peel it back. And you really just want to get it peeled back around the edge. You can leave the burlap in, um, you know, it's compostable, it'll break down uh, very quickly. Um, so there's really no need to take it off, especially with a big tree. You'd be uh, wrestling with it for a while to get all of it off. So basically you just peel it back around, stick it into the hole, and then just backfill it with your bumper crop and the existing soil, and you can just fertilize right on top of it, and then apply your B1.